You don't usually see a bunch of insects hanging around in the winter. They're little. They have a large surface area compared to their insides. That means they get cold really fast. Consider how long it takes for a bucket of water to freeze compared to a drop of water. Larger animals like us and dogs are like buckets. Insects are like drops. As the weather cools, insects go into what entomologists call a chill coma. This usually happens around 60 degrees Fahrenheit for most species. In a chill coma, insects are not dead, but they can't move. Chill comas can be very dangerous for insects. When temperatures hit freezing, insect cells burst and they die. Well, maybe not exactly like that, but you get the idea. It's tough being an insect alone in the cold. Most bugs try to get their eggs in a safe place and wait to be transported to the great bugtopia in the sky. When the weather fluctuates wildly, most insect species get killed off in large numbers because they're not ready for it. Most insect species, but not honeybees. Honeybees don't worry about chill comas or cell bursting because they're social insects. They get a little help from their sisters to beat the freeze. Here's how it works. Honeybees' forewings are married to their hind wings by a row of Velcro-like hooks. When they hook their wings together, they can fly. When they unhook their wings, they can flap their flight muscles, but they can't fly. Don't feel bad for the unhooked honeybee. This is her secret to her winter success. Let's consider, for the sake of scientific inquiry, that M&Ms are honeybees. Here they are bumbling around inside the hive. When the weather chills to temperatures that would cause an ordinary insect to go into a chill coma, honeybees just unhook their wings and buzz their flight muscles. The shivering warms them up. Suppose temperatures drop even lower, low enough to freeze everyone inside the hive. Time for teamwork! Bees form a cluster around the queen. They unhook their wings together and they shiver, shiver, shiver. Temperatures may be below freezing outside, but the inside of a shivering cluster can be hotter than 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Sometimes it gets too hot in the middle, so the center bees push their way to the outside of the cluster, cooling off while the outside bees warm up. By doing this, they maintain a pretty constant temperature in the hive. Keeping it social keeps honeybees warm all winter.